Okay and welcome to my college entrance test review. So for today, we will be learning all about sets. Okay, so all about sets. So ano nga ba isang set? So a set is basically a well defined collection of objects. Okay, so kahit anong collection of objects, basta well-defined siya, set ang tawag doon. Okay? So, pan, ano ba ang meaning natin ng well-defined? Kasi medyo magulo yung pagkaka-define natin ng well-defined. So, ibig sabihin ng well-defined ay it is known exactly which objects belong to a set based on an objective criteria. Basta kailangan, specific siya. So, we normally denote capital letters so a b c as the set and then yung mga objects ay small letters okay so small letters a b c i objects okay so we represent sets using curly braces like this Okay, so for example, gawa tayo ng set A, okay, capital letter, equal siya sa set of small letters A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so ito yung set, and each one of these are objects. Okay, so how do we represent kung yung object ay nasa loob ng isang set or not? So, we use this notation, okay? So, para siyang C na may line, okay? So, for example, A is in the set A. So, meaning neto, yung A na object natin ay nandoon sa loob ng set A, which is true kasi yung set A natin consists of A, B, C, D, and E. Pero, X is not... Okay, so is not in the set. So we represent is not by putting a slash doon sa symbol natin. Yun na yun. So yun ang basic definitions ng set. So how do we define sets? No? So actually naturo ko na sa inyo yung isa. No? So ito yung isang method of defining sets. Pero let's go to them one by one. Okay, so set... Notations. Meron tayong three ways. Okay? So, roster method. Second is uh, rule method. And then third is set builder notation. Okay? So, yung roster method, basically, uh, ito yung nakalist, no? List of objects. Objects. So basically, itong ginawa natin kanina ay roster method. Okay? So yung rule method naman, ito ay basically defined using a property. So for example, x, kunyari, x is a set, no? Containing uh, all vowels in English. Okay, so yan ang rule method. So basically, may description ka lang noong set mo. Yung set builder naman, ginagawa tayo ng isang variable na rinerepresent niya yung rule. Okay, so for example, w is equal to, for example, w such that w is a day of the week. Okay, so ito yung rule mo. So ito yung rule. And then ito yung variable. Okay, so this is small letter W and then this is big letter W. Okay, so let's um, do some examples. So pag sinabi natin na make a set, okay, so let's say roster method. Uh, containing all days of the week. So, we say, kunyari, x, 
is equal to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay? So, yan ang roster method. Basically, linilist mo lang lahat ng elements. Next is uh, yung rule method. Okay? So, yung rule. Ganun uli, no? Sabihin natin na all days of the week, no? So, pwede natin sabihin na x is the set of all days of the week. Okay, so yan na yung rule method natin. And then, yung set builder natin, uh, it's just like kanina, no? So, we do x is equal to, for example, a, such that a is a day of the week. Okay? So, yan ang three ways natin of representing sets. Next, now we need to discuss is the cardinality. Okay? So, ano ba yung cardinality? Cardinality basically says is a number of items or objects no? in the set. Okay? So, yun lang. Then, Ang rule lang natin dito is uh, any repeated element, no? Is only counted once. Okay? Yun lang yung rule natin. So, for example, I have the set B. Ang laman niya ay 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. Yung cardinality ng set B, okay? So, we represent cardinality using uh, bars, okay? Then, we put yung variable or name ng set sa gitna. So, ilang items yung nandun sa B? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So, yung cardinality ng B ay 6, okay? So, we can also represent cardinality using N, no? So, yung ibang books, gamit nila N. So, N, B, was 6, okay? So, just some examples. Let's say C. Let's use set builder. X is such that X is a month of the year. So, anong cardinality? So, anong cardinality ng C? So, you have January until December. So, that is 12. Okay? So, it's good to know rin since na pinag-uusapan natin yung number of elements inside the set, ay paano kung infinite yung number doon sa log ng set. Okay? So, we have two kinds of sets. no? So, finite and infinite. Okay? So, based from the word itself, finite, meron kang number talaga ng cardinality. Yung infinite, uh, infinite talaga siya. No? So, basically, walang definite na cardinality yung set mo. Okay? So, we have some more special terms. So, we call unit, no? So, unit set and then empty set. Ito naman, pag sinabi mong unit set, isa lang yung item sa loob ng set. Kaya siya tinawag na unit set. Yung empty set naman, as the word it says, Walang laman. Okay? So, zero elements inside. And then, we represent this as either curly brackets na walang laman o kaya naman uh, phi. Okay? So, bilog na may line sa gitna. Okay? So, that is the cardinality of a set. So, in the next video, we will be talking about set relationships. And uh, if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. See you again next time.